Hello, my name is Ming Ang Nguyen. I'm studying in Moscow Power Engineering Institute. Today, I'd like to present to you about our small-scale organic ranking cycle. My teacher is PhD Assistant Professor Vasily Valentinovich Glaskov. I just like to give you some background information about organic cycle ranking. The ranking cycle is the thermodynamic cycle that converts heat into work. The heat is supplied to a closed loop instead of generating steam from water. The ORC system vaporizes an organic fluid characterized by the molecular a mass higher than that of water with boiling point, occurring at a lower temperature than the water steam phase change. The fluid allows Rankine cycle heat recovery from lower temperature sources such as biomass combustion, industrial waste heat, uh, geothermal heat, solar ponds, etc. In this work, we use Freon 141B as working fluid. The low temperature heat is converted into useful work that can itself be converted into electricity. The organic ranking cycles principle is based on a turbo generator working as a conventional steam turbine to transform thermal energy into mechanical energy and finally into electric energy through an electrical generator. The working fluid is pumped to a boiler where it is evaporated, passed through an expansion device, turbine, or other expanders, and then through a condenser heat exchanger where it is finalized, finally recondensed. We make a small-scale ORC with our recuperator, so the basic cycle is very similar to the traditional steam cycle. The organic working fluid is successively pumped, vaporized, expanded, and condensed. To make a ranking cycle, we need four processes. This picture shows the thermodynamic TS diagram. Process 5 to 4 to 1 for the boiler. Process 1 to 2 for the turbine. Process 2 to 3 for the condenser. And finally, process 3 to 5 for the pump is what we are going to discuss now. Okay, so let's start. In the pump, by compressing the pressure of the liquid, is raised from P2 to P1. This is the adi, uh, adiabatic process. Then this liquid under pressure enters the boiler, where heat is applied to it, process 451. 4 to 5 is an isobaric process. The process 5 to 1 is an isobaric process isothermal. When the boiling point is reached, the process of va uh, vaporization occurs. The liquid has reached its saturation temperature and start boiling. The liquid is converted into steam. Now, steam can be used in the next process, which is process 1 to 2 to the turbine. The expansion is an adiabatic process. At the end of the expansion, the vapor starts condensing until there is only liquid remained. The temperature is constant. The entropy decreases. Process 2 to 3 is an isobaric, isothermal process. In the pump, water is compressed, increasing the pressure from P2 to P1, and the cycle is closed. The efficiency of the cycle is given by the net output power divided by the heat flow provided in the boiler. This picture shows our labeled diagram of the completed experiment, showing the principal components and their layout. Number one is the boiler. Number two is the pipeline. Three is an expander. Five is a generator. Seven is the condenser. Nine is a receiver. 12 is flow meter, 16 is a peep hole, which shows the pressure in the vaporizer, 17 is a fan. This picture shows the principle of the scroll expander. A scroll set is made of two identical scrolls. One dock is the stationary scroll, while the other is orbiting scroll. One scroll is inverted and rotated 180 degrees to intermesh with the opposite scroll. The 
complete expansion cycle requires several orbits to move gas from the higher pressure suction condition to the low pressure discharge condition. Wind generator will be connected with a scroll expander. The installation uses a Z100 watt generator with a permanent magnet from a wind generator which is shown in this picture. This is our small scale ORC when wind generator is connected with a scroll expander. This video shows how our small scale ORC works when the wind generator is connected to the load. There is a bar 50 watts. The video shows the observed through the peephole when a two-phase flow of impure steam, steam and freon moves through the pipeline. Now we'll move to uh, the results of this e experiment. This figure shows how the working fluid mass flow rate changes during the pump speed changes. This is how the pressure at the outlet of the evaporator at idle and under load depend on air temperature. This is the dependence of the generator speed at idle and under load from the pump, from the pump speed. And the last one is the dependence of electric power under load on the speed of the pump. That brings us to the end of my video. Thank you for watching.